With all this economic downturn, South Africa has entered a vicious economic cycle. But can it enter a virtuous cycle? Jan Krushank is a senior economist with the South African Institute of Race Relations and he's here to tell us more about that. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Good to be with you. Thank you, Colin. All right. The comparison of a vicious cycle and a virtuous cycle, tell us more about that. Where are we now? What is a vicious cycle? Because that's where we are. It's where we have seeing lower economic activity, less business confidence, less consumer confidence. Less business confidence means there's no new factories being built, no new machinery being put into them because there are no new consumers who are coming to take the goods. We're finding it very difficult to compete in international markets because our co production costs are relatively high, because of a lot of inefficiencies that are built into our economy. We, what we're finding now is less less activity, fewer job creation. In fact, we get into job destruction and that has to change. What do we want to aim at? We want to turn this around and go into a virtuous cycle. What would that be? That would mean when there would be fresh uh, confidence, fresh capital, more, more production, more profitability, more jobs being created because there was more uh, profit being ploughed back into the company. This is the cycle, the, the, the one end that we have to go from and the other end to which we have to move. But this economic dichotomy then, yes. can we say that it was self-inflicted and this also being affirmed by the ANC admitting that actually the legacy of former President Jacob Zuma is to blame? Well, that is a big factor. There's no doubt about it at all. We have to also realize it can't be turned around in a moment. We talk about that legacy that you just managed. You can't reverse 10 years of mismanagement in, in only a few months. So we have to get used to the idea of living in strained circumstances. What's, what do we have to do? What does South Africa have to do? Live within its means. We just heard a little earlier how we export much more, well, much less than we import. We've got to replace imports and live within our means. But we cannot sweep uh, the natural disasters under the carpet. No, no, that's true. We have to live with those. But I think the first thing to do is to say, let us, let us not overreach ourselves. Let us, let us at least appreciate that the unions have to appreciate that, uh, you know, a, a job is not a right. It's a privilege. And, and that's, I think, uh, uh, an attitude that needs to be developed. Let, let's talk about the discomforting news, the economic growth outlook being slashed to 0.7% yes. by Moody's. That wasn't, y yes. I think, and, and I think, you know, a lot of people have said it was totally unexpected. Gee, you just have to go and look in the shops on a Saturday morning and say there were very fewer customers, but far fewer than there used to be. It shouldn't have been totally unexpected, but yes, it was worse than expected, there's no doubt about it, and it can be reversed, but it will take time. L let's talk about economic legacies. Yes, Going okay. before President Jacob Zuma, I want us to touch on the former President Tabombeki's centrist approach, talking about a partial privatization of, uh, the, right. private, the, of uh, the public sector. Something sectors. I was very close to my heart. Public-private partnerships. Uh, the, the public sector creates the infrastructure. It, it helps to, su to support capital demands. The private sector knows about management. It has shown what it can do, and we think the putting the two together is the way to get ahead. I think the public sector has to realize, government has to realize, the private sector is not the enemy. They're desperate to work together to advance the country as a whole. But why, why, are, why is there a slowdown in the private sector? It's, it's part of a global move. Uh, we need to get a, to kick our economy into, into gear. We need a, a recovery in, in commodity prices, in demand for those, co those uh, goods, which we are very good at digging out the ground and selling in a non-beneficiated way. That's what we do best of all. But we can't do that if there aren't buyers and there aren't enough of those. Another interesting issue that came up this week uh, we heard today banks making a submission and some, you know, are not really supporting the move that Section 25 of the Constitution should be changed because the land question is very sensitive and it will affect property rights. Of course it's very sensitive. They've got hundreds of millions of rands worth of debt of, of farming properties that are mortgaged to them and uh, they don't want to see these c get into an un non-productive stage because that way the debt couldn't be serviced. So it is important that some sort of continuity, some sort of move forward is made where the land is left in a commercial basis that it can still be productive and, and food producing. That's the other thing, we mustn't get to a stage where we can't feed ourselves.
Another interesting factor that cannot be ignored, the current account deficit, which really narrowed uh, to 3.3%. Yes. Is this something that is good news, even oh, yes. though we are amidst the storm? Undoubtedly, this is good news. Uh, it, it was higher than that before. Why was it higher? Apart, uh, partly due to the trade account. We had been importing much more than we had been exporting. These, this ratio has been brought down a little bit. And uh, so, yes, it is a move in the right direction. Then, talking about the move in the di right direction, we expect to have an economic summit later in October. What do we, should we expect out of that? I think what we need, whether it comes about or not, of course, is another matter. But what we need to see is government's uh, willingness to, to work together with the private sector, uh, to inspan them into their teams, to, to make sure that government works on the infrastructure creation and development rather than on, uh, th th than on, on, on quick spins. Mm. We don't need to push out motor car sales by taking a whole lot more of, of cars for parliamentarians. Do you believe in the real reform package uh, that Minister Tlantlanen of Finance was saying that it's in the pipeline? We'll see it when we'll, we'll, we'll accept it when, when it comes about. You know, there have been a lot of attempts to have uh, a, a new page in, in, in the management of the financial sector. We haven't seen it successfully uh, promoted yet. I think that's a wait and see type thing, but I know, I'm quite sure that the finance minister is, w wants to work in the right direction. They have to. It's in their own self-preservation. -pre well, lastly, as we are expecting the MPC to meet soon, and uh, President Ramaphosa also saying that he expects to raise over 100 uh, billion US dollars in, you know, after in uh, three, four to five years. Do you think that is realistic? Well, it's difficult to say. So far, they've had assurances. No checks yet. No checks that can be banked of about 30 billion. Indications only. Let's see the money come in. Let's see that come in so we can see where it's come from, what sort of conditions are attached to it. That's also very important. And I think that this is going to be a lengthy process. You know, we're not looked on as a very good risk at the moment. We, we must be a relatively poor risk, especially with the chance that we could be downgraded. Remember, uh, Moody's already said, if we go into recession, there's a strong risk that, uh, that our national sovereign credit rating gets downgraded. That makes the cost of borrowing even more difficult, even more expensive. So I think that, uh, yes, uh, there are a lot of risks ahead, but uh, hopefully the new development plan can put some of the fears to rest. One word. Yes. Interest rates, are they going to go up or down? Between now and the end of the year, I see no chance that they can go down. To cut rates simply to promote uh, uh, a business activity is not going to work because we desperately need a foreign capital inflow. How do we attract that? Higher rates. So the chances are greater for a rate hike than a rate hike. I don't think it will happen before the end of the year. I sincerely hope not. It's always a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. Very good to be with you. Thank you, Colin. Jan Krushanks is a senior economist at the South African Institute of Race Relations. And of course, Peter and Polisa are standing.